Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree and a Dollarama haul. Now, today I'm sitting in my living room, my usual spot. Um, now, the window, it's supposed to be cloudy today, but then every once in a blue moon, the sun pops out and it shines right in on me. So I hope through this video, we will be okay. So I do apologize if it gets a little bit bright on me, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you guys can still see what I am showing you. So that being said, why don't we begin? So just always, I always ask if you could just subscribe to my channel, refer to your friends and family as well. If they love this sort of content, I would love to have them part of my YouTube world. Also, if you could just give me a thumbs up and also click the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to start with the Dollarama and then we'll go into the Dollar Tree. Only a couple Christmas items from the Dollarama and the, the rest is more just miscellaneous, some more food that I usually get as well, um, but a couple name brands too. So why don't we begin? So let's go with this one. Okay, this is not really exciting probably for most of you guys, but it is for me. It was $3 um, more for Jackson, but it's the Shout Pets, um, the Oxy Urine Destroyer. I just thought this would be somewhat um, helpful. We have a couple stains on our carpet downstairs in the basement. We have had, actually had some stains on our floor before we even moved in. The previous owners had three cats. So the floor downstairs, there was a couple spots previously. And I'm pretty sure when Jackson came to our house too, when we first got him, he had a couple accidents downstairs. We did try one of those um, Bissell steam cleaner type things for the floor. Um, but I feel like it was more the, the little tiny size one. So it wasn't like an industrial vacuum. So when we would clean around it, I feel like it just made a ring around the clean part, if that makes sense. So anyway, I just wanted to try this out and see if it works. Um, oh, I said $3. Sorry, it is $2.50. And you get um, you get 473 mils. Like this thing is a big bottle. So I hope it's okay. Like I said, it's not really exciting for you guys, but I'm excited to try it for us for our carpets. <laughs> so I got that. I picked up some more of the coconut sugar. Now this is a different one. So the other one was Remy, like the Dollarama brand, obviously, but this one is now the D um, Organic coconut sugar 250 and so the packaging is different as well now it's just got coconuts on it remember the other one that i had that had like almost like the tropical leaves on the bottom so i'm curious to see if it is the same um one it does feel like the same you do get 300 grams and um it is usda organic and oh and oh i like this and it's gluten free too so that is awesome i think that is great is that vegan as well? I'm pretty sure that's vegan. So yeah, I'm super happy to know that that is all what I'm looking for. So uh, yes, yeah, so I got that. And then I just picked up my usual Dare Ultimate Fudge Cookies. You guys know I love these. So they are 290 grams. They're always $2 at the Dollarama, the best deal always. Um, I haven't seen them any cheaper anywhere else. You might, the odd, odd time, get them for $1.75. I've never seen, like, I feel like $2 is always the cheapest that I've seen. So I got my, my cookie addiction. <laughs> and on top of cookies, this is name brand. And this, the Dollar Tree came out with their version of them as well. But this is the name brand. It is the Cadbury Fingers. You guys remember last year Dollar Tree came out with the exact same looking box, purple, but of course it wasn't the Cadbury, it was a different name on it. They were just, they were so, 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 so good. Um, these ones were $2, the other ones were $1.25. I don't, these ones almost appear a little bit bigger, but I could be totally wrong. These are 114 grams, but I do like those on hand. Now, guys, I don't know if you noticed, like my voice it feels like it's a little off today, but I've just kind of, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit more of a raspy throat. Uh, I've been p taking some cold FX and some vitamin C, even drinking orange juice. I'm just trying to take whatever I can right now to battle. I do not want to get sick. <laughs> so yes. So anyway, I do apologize if my voice does sound a little raspy. So yeah, anxious to try or not try. I know what they're going to taste like. They taste fabulous to me already, but this would be great to put in um, a Christmas gift basket as well. So got that. And then these are the Christmas items from the Dollarama. Um, so this for a dollar 
50, a little bit pricier, and I don't think they were this much last year. I should almost check my pile from uh, last year because these are the wooden Christmas ornaments. You guys know, remember I hauled the Christmas tree and the heart ones. I've used them in previous DIYs. I don't, I don't remember if it was a dollar fifty before, but they are super cute. Again, I find the jute twine super long on there, so you can always just cut it and shorten the um, the hanger part of the ornament. But yes, I'm excited I got those. And then this. So this, guys. Okay, so those were a dollar fifty. Yet this was a dollar twenty-five. How cute is this little ornament? It is super cute as is a very merry christmas again nothing wrong with the way it is but you know me i i actually bought it because i'm gonna paint it i am probably gonna just take all, like paint it maybe even pink because you guys know i still like i have done a few pink diys already so i might actually do that pink and change it up ever so slightly but i just thought you know what for $1. twenty-five, it's already made for you just give it a good coat of paint and there you go <laughs> So I got that. All right, so that is it for the Dollar tr uh, Dollarama. I'm gonna move on to the Dollar Tree. I'll start with just some of the food items from the Dollar Tree. Now, my friend Rochelle always points these out for me, so I got more of the pretzel pizzazz. These are so good. You know I've hauled all four flavors. So there is this one, which is the sour cream and chive. They had the, buff I always say blue buffalo, but it was a buffalo blue. So that one was actually a little bit spicier than I wanted. Um, they had all addressed. And then of course they had the honey garlic, not sorry, not honey garlic, uh, honey mustard. But honestly, I love the honey mustard, but I've also had that before, like in other brands of pretzels as well. This, the chive and onion or um, sour cream and chive, sorry. This one is out of all four of those is my absolute favorite. So for $1.25, it is a little bit pricier, but it is good to have as a little snack. Um, you get, what is this one? Um, 56 grams, so it is tiny, but again, you can keep those in your lunch bag for work. Yes. If I ever do see the big bags of those, I'm definitely getting the big bag of those. And then I found these. Okay, these are, oh no, I'm just gonna show you one other thing here. Again, I just pick up just the Clubhouse, the beef stew mix. I love these packages. These stew mixes always remind me, I you know my mom probably did like that way too, but this always reminds me of my mom's stew. Um, she still makes it, but I mean, I if I want to, I can make them here too. And I love making my dumplings with them as well. So yeah, I got that $1.25. And then I just picked up a couple of these for our nephews, more for Christmas. But again, just the Sour Punch, just the, um, what are they? The Santa Straws. You get the Green Apple. Um, yeah, I guess it's just all Green Apple. But you get 105 grams. So yes, I picked up two for $1.25. Okay, here comes the sunshine again, guys. <laughs> So I also found these, these are new to me. They are by Free You Multigrain Quinoa Snacks. I picked up all three flavors that I could find. So if there are any more, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, so quinoa snacks. One is tomato. So they are 40 grams each. You also have the chili. So it does say it is spicy, but some spicy things are not really spicy. Um, and I also picked up the sea salt. I am gonna give one a try right now. I know I'm not gonna do the spicy one because I don't wanna start coughing or anything like that on camera. But uh, yes, let's go ahead and try the tomato ones. Now, I don't know if I ever showed you, I did not. I think I just ate them. I bought some of these quinoa, they almost look like cheese puffs from the Dollarama and they were awful. Honestly, they were so disgusting and I'm not one, I'm not a picky eater by any means and they were awful. So, okay, so you know what? These remind me exactly of those sun chips. You guys know those sun chips, the, the ones that I'm talking about. So yes, I'm gonna give these a try. Oh, oh those are so good. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Quinoa, these are amazing. Oh my gosh, there's so much flavor on these things. Mm. They're definitely, just as crunchy as those sun chips. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, 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 so good. Oh, now that I 
cracked it open. Jackson was lying in his bed and now he's kind of making, slowly making his way over here. Are you coming to say hello? Come here. I don't know if you'll see him on the show, on the, the camera, but oh, you coming in? Let's see if we can give him one. I, we're terrible like that. We always give him some little treats. Come here. Come here. <laughs> he's right here. <laughs> Are you going to sit? Hey, come here. Come over here. No, sit, 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 sit. He's a boy. Sit. Oh, I'll give him. So you saw him. He's <laughs> right here. <laughs> Was that nummy? Was that good? <laughs> as soon as we have, oh my gosh, guys, I should tell you a silly, funny story. So he's been really, really good. Um, when we first got him, now he's about a year and a half. Somebody was telling me that dogs have a terrible two stage. Even though it looks so, I laugh every time though. I am such, I'll be the worst parent ever if we ever have kids. Cause if you do something bad, I'm not going to punish you. I'm going to laugh at you because I think it's just so freaking cute. So he, just the other day, we went grocery shopping and Craig loves, loves a butter charts. So we bought these six pack of butter charts from the grocery store. He had one. And then the same day we bought them, he had one because he, again, he was craving it. So uh, we were getting ready. We we're going to a hockey game. And next thing you know, we're going downstairs to like get ready to go out the door. Yeah, there was not one butter tart left. Like the package was on the floor empty. He is staring at me right now because I think he knows, I think he knows what we're talking about. Because what, I don't know what time you're going to see this video, but this happened just like literally a couple days ago. <laughs> when I'm recording this. Yep. <laughs> I wish you guys could see it right now. Um, but yeah, we just looked at him. I could see, I don't know what you guys tell me. Can you please tell me if you don't see the, your dog doing the bad action do you punish them? Cause do they remember what they did? If like, let's say an hour goes by, then you realize he was bad. Do you punish him then? Like, I don't know what to do. So we didn't, we just like, we didn't witness it. So, I mean, it was bad, but what do you do? Do you, yes. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So yes, I definitely say these are definitely, sorry, totally off topic. I definitely say these are definitely worth a buy. Well, I've, like I said, I've definitely tried the tomato one. I'm pretty sure the rest tastes fabulous. Okay. So let's move on. So I just picked up some more of my, um, just paint, um, paint brushes. My other little ones are getting so warped right now. I just really wanted the small ones. I like this one. I love this type of brush too. That's got a little bit more of an angle as well. So I like that just to get into the corners of your uh, DIYs. And yes, yeah, so you got three and I like that it was green. So I got those. I just picked up these because I am doing a DIY with these. I think these were super, super cute. They are beads, metallic beads, but they are little stars. You get the gold, the uh, rose gold or bronze, whatever. And then the silver, these ones you get, uh, it says, says 35 grams, but there's quite a few in there for $1.25. So yes, I got those. And then I just picked up these. These are more just for friend mail, um, but they had different colors as well. I do have a picture. They had gold, uh, silver, and also green. But again, just like the bubble wraps. Um, I know one of my girlfriends, she sells makeup. She says that obviously she buys these in bulk and it's like 10 cents uh, for one bubble wrap. I mean, I paid $1.25 for one, but I don't send out as half as much stuff as she does. So I thought, you know what, just to have a couple on hand. And I just love how iridescent it looks. I just love that color too. <laughs> so yes, I picked up two of those. And then guys, okay, I kind of really didn't really go in order from like Christmas. I don't think anything else is Christmas at the, oh yes, I have a couple things from uh, the Dollar Tree that are Christmas. Guys, I found them. Buffalo check <laughs> paper straws. You get 18 of them in there. Oh my gosh. Buffalo check, guys. <laughs> These would be so great in my coffee bar. I just love that. You know, you don't really use them for hot cocoa or hot or coffee, but if I had a cold coffee or something for a guest, then I could give one of these to that person. So I'm super happy I found those. And then these guys, I was super, super happy because I know these are very in right now. I know Old Navy has them, our dance has them, like so many places have them. And I got mine for $1.25 each. So you guys know the headbands, the knots are in right now, I find. But look at this one. I don't know if you can see up close, 
but there's some, yeah, there you go. You can see some details on this one. So you can see kind of like it's, it shows through right here. So yes, I picked up that one with the uh, the knot. I picked up this one as well. So guys, this is like the velvet feel. Now this one doesn't have a tag on. I think the tag or somebody, it, it, I don't know if, know if it was even used or not, but it was in the store without the tag. There was another one with the tag, but the, the one with the tag looked like it was um, stepped on on the floor because it was so dirty. So I picked this one up, but I think this is so, so, so cute. Again, guys, this is not going to look the greatest on me right now because I haven't really been able to... Ah, yeah, so anyway, it's kind of pointy, so I think I actually might take my hot glue gun and just like pin it down just a little bit. But yeah, I think this is super, super, super cute. <laughs> so yeah, I got two of the headbands. I'm going to take this off for now. I mean, I could keep it on. I know it's... I still love it, but... Um, okay, let's move on. A couple more things. I just found... Um, these are more for my craft room. I have a few things kind of on my floor right now. When it comes to the season, I take out all my Christmas stuff. So I have like a little pile of my Christmas stuff on the floor because I just want to like easily access it um, just to put into my, my videos. But I found these super, super fun. I'm super excited that I found them. The collapsible storage containers, but in the Buffalo chest. So I did pick up three to organize my craft room a bit. I actually want to get one more of those. You know how I got the, um, it was like the, the shoe rack holder that you put over your door. So it was like a cloth one. Now they, I want to get another one that almost looks like a cubby hole. You can get one that's for your shoes, like that are like, um, you can go in like horizontally. Whereas the one I got, you just kind of put the shoes in vertically, but I want something that you can hang in your closet. It's like Velcros over your, the pole where you put your, um, your hangers. So then I could maybe, maybe stuff these in there as well. But I'm just gonna take them out of the box. These ones are nine inches by nine. So this is a nice square cube. Yeah, Ooh. So yes, I got that. Oh yes, and I was like, oh yeah, I think it comes with the bottom. I think you guys know this already with these. So yes, you can tell it's just like cardboard but this goes on the bottom in order to keep it from collapsing. So yeah, I got those. I love the little handle too, so you can easily put that, pull that out of your cupboard too. So I got those and just three more things, but these all kind of go together. I picked up, I did finally pick up one of these. I think these are so, 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 so precious. The little uh, wax warmer melts. I just think this is so, so adorable. They had a red and they had a green one as well, but yes, I'm happy I found that one. And to go with that, I also picked up the Glade. So these are $1.50, but they are the Glade uh, wax melts. So I picked up the Sage. So you get uh, six pieces in there. And then I also picked up the Sparkling Citrus in that as well it's really hard to smell them from the outside but i don't even know if you can open them right now either anyway i won't open them right now but i'm super excited because you can always give these as gifts you can give the whole wax uh warmer with the wax melts in a nice little gift basket um i just think they're so so cute now i have to look into if jackson is compatible with these like if he will get um if there's any risks to his health with these i just have to double check if there is i will give them to some of my friends with Oh, any pets <laughs> but yeah so a dollar 25 for the warmer but yet a dollar 50 because it is a name brand glade so yes so that guys is it for my haul i am so sorry i just moved the camera so that is it for the dollarama and the dollar tree haul i hope you guys found some things that you want to go get uh from the stores just be careful when you go out don't uh you know the crowds are getting bigger and bigger now because we are getting closer to the holidays so just be patient be safe have fun <laughs> and that is it remember i do post videos every tuesdays wednesdays and saturdays at 7 p.m eastern the odds high a video here and there with if I'm in a challenge or something like that so remember just to hit the subscribe button and click the bell button click uh, all and that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video all right that is it guys have a wonderful day we'll see you later bye hey.